daughters, they're five and nine, and in my opinion, I, I truly believe that the greatest way to start your kid off on a healthy path is to start from day one. My husband, Gabrielle, and I, we sit down at the dinner table every single night, even if we're going to have like a later sexy dinner, and we eat dinner with our children every single night. Um, we have a discussion, we have a balanced diet on the table, everything is cooked fresh, and this allows us to give our children different flavors and tastes and to um, inspire them, to teach them to cook with us uh, from a very early age so they know what they're, how, that it goes from the garden to the table, they watch how it grows, they get to see how we prepare it, and they know, my children know the difference between too sweet, not sweet enough, and just right. Um, so, number one, I think sit down with your kids every night, cook with them, eat fresh. Number two, try to send them to school with a lunch bag that you prepared. If that's not an alternative, you know, there's always hot lunch, but I think, you know, like going out to a restaurant, at least you know what's in the bag that you prepare, you don't know what the hot lunch is going to be necessarily. Um, you know, I'm so shocked when I go to these, like, uh, play dates or children's parties in what other parents allow their children to eat. I mean, I've seen bowls of these gummy worms or like gummy hamburgers or, you know, like just jelly beans, uh, you know, chock full of sugar. And they use it to shut the kids up. The kids go wild, they run around. My kids become psychopaths. I, you know, I don't know how the parents handle it, but they literally like, you know, like turn into other people and then it ends with a meltdown. Uh, so, you know, for me, my suggestion is to really watch the sugar intake and, uh, and try to stick mostly to fresh fruit. I'm married to an Italian from Italy. In Italy, they don't really have breakfast. They have coffee and a cigarette. So, you know, my husband wakes up and he makes the kids a lot of times breakfast because he gets up quicker than me. And he makes, you know, a slice of bread with jam and to you know, butter and jam and uh, they, they like to have nest quick and in and, and a warm cup of milk. If I don't have nest quick, my kids will not drink the milk. So I think it's really important that if you know if you're counting calories or you don't want the sugar content or you if you're like type one or type two diabetes, another way to do it is just to get creative. Maybe use a little bit of cocoa powder and then some Truvia. I I like the idea of being very natural and for me you know, I'd much rather have sugar than a sugar substitute that's artificial or synthetic. Now that we have options given the stevia plant, like back in the day the stevia plant was, you know, an option to get at the health food store, now uh, a brand called Truvia has given us a better tasting part of the leaf. So you don't have that weird aftertaste and to incorporate that sometimes into your baking, your cooking, or into the kids' drinks or their lemonade. Um, you know, I think is a really great way to kind of uh, get them used to like liking less sweet things. My kids always want to do a lemonade stand, and they take like you know a jug of sugar and they dump it in. Then they take things and they, they put like the kitchen sink in these concoctions that they want to sell on the street for Hurricane Katrina or Haiti or whatever. And um, all they really want to do is make the lemonade. But the truth is, they love to drink it no matter how disgusting and how much sugar they dump in it. And I'm the one who suffers, and I don't want my kids to be, you know, overweight, have health issues early on. As a child, I was never allowed to have sugar at a hippie mother. And I took every opportunity to, like, you know, scarf down a bag of Oreos at my grandma's house. But to be honest with you, you know, if you don't keep certain things in the house, you just don't eat it. And I think it's really important for, uh, and, and, and responsible as parents and also to ourselves and our bodies that we um, try to control the sugar intake especially. Because I think in America it's probably the number one problem that we're having because of all the obesity. Because people, you know, they think, oh, I'm having a diet soda. And the next thing you know, like, you know, they're, they're having cellulite. Oh, but I had a diet soda. How could I be getting, like, cellulite and all these problems? Well, you're putting chemicals into your body. What do you think? So, you know, think natural, you know, exercise, find the balance, but especially with your children, make sure to spend the time and give them the fresh foods because they deserve that, and you're setting them up for a lifetime of, you know, good values and also of good health.